now is a great time to take whatever medicine you need to have a good time enjoying the show. We'll wait. Mm, get it all down. That's right. All right. Sit down, relax, and remember to laugh your ass off. <laughs> together for the fabulous, wonderful human entity known as Greg Barris. Thanks for coming. Thank you. I can't believe you came. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. Oh my God, you made it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. One or two more is okay. Yes. Thank you for your healing energy. Thank you for your healing energy. Oh my gosh. Let's do a quick vibe check. What's the vibe? Wow, that's a real crank vibe. Real crank vibe. I'm saying crank a lot now. Get on board. People say sick. Oh, that was sick. Six out. Six out. Oh, I just had twins. Crank. Cranks in. Cranks in. Or you could just cut to the chase. I've been doing this. I've just been going, oh, I just, uh, my daughter just got married. Ugh. That's really helpful. Try it out. Try it out. Uh, oh, we just had a baby. <laughs> crank, crank, real crank. <laughs> um, who's microdosing right now? Look up. Right, uh, what are you microdosing on? <laughs> Am I allowed to say this on uh, television? We'll see. <laughs> oh, we'll find out. <laughs> yes, yeah, shrooms. Wait, 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 I am your mother. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody's microdosing is very popular. People are like, oh, I microdose. But at work, at the office, to get work done. It's like, oh, what do you do? I'm a child's heart surgeon. You want to be on a little something. Those hearts are real tiny. Um, who's macro dosing? <laughs> Couple people, same mushroom people. Like, wait, 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 wait. It's good to be on something fun. Everything's medicine, you know? It's like, oh, I'm doing ketamine for medicine to heal myself. <laughs> you know? It's, uh, it's really helpful, real healing uh, medicine. Oh, I crush an oxycodone up a couple times in the morning, because that's when you want to take your medicine. Uh, Everything's medicine. I'm running a sacred medicine circle. Any, any guy, any male, any person who identifies as a male is invited. It's a sacred men's circle. We uh, wear sacred garments. People call them wife beaters, but I've been, I've been calling them positive male energy tees. And it's like, look how vulnerable we are with our exposed shoulders. <laughs> You know, when we meet up in a parking lot and uh, we use plant medicine, you know, it's a sacred cocaine circle and a lot of healing gets done. You know, we just get it all out. And it's really powerful uh, healing. It's real powerful healing. Let's just make someone feel really good real quick. Um, what's, your, what's your first name? And what's your last name? Maytal Haddad. Okay, I'm going to bring her up. You're going to stay there. I'm just going to introduce you. And everyone's going to go wild for Maytal. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, an American treasure. Put your hands together for Maytal Haddad. Yes. 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 Does that feel good? Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, it feels really good. It feels really good. Uh, does anyone have a mantra they want to share? Something they say to themselves and make them feel good? Fuck it. Fuck it. Yes. 
That's a good one. Let's all try it together. One, two, three. Fuck it. Yes, I already feel better. Wow, I should have started the set with that one. Does anyone else have a mantra they want to share? Just getting through the week. Just get one, two, three. Just get through the week. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm going to get through now. <laughs> Um, for if, since most of you don't have one, I'll share one, and you can use it. This is really helpful for me. I repeat it to myself a lot. Um, it's, please help me. Please help me. Uh, it really has been working out. You try it at home. You want to say it a lot of times. Kind of when you're in the, uh, some people call it the fetal position, and it's really healing. I've also been saying this fun phrase. Let me know if you have. I've been saying, go fuck yourself. Who else? Who else? Yeah, something we can all get on board. I say it. I say it, but I mean it. Some, someone almost hit me with their car when I was walking, and I struck the hood of their car with my open hand like a man. And I said it, but I meant it. I was like, go to your house. Turn off all the lights. Get the bathtub nice and hot. Put yourself in something you feel real good in. Light some candles that float. Dip down in there and go fuck yourself. That's right. Go to your dad's house. Yeah, your dad's house. Move everything out of the living room. Take off all your clothes. Put yourself in the middle of a sacred geometric pattern. Make a big salad and go fuck yourself. You have to get these positive phrases in your mind. They help us all, you know? We, uh, <laughs> we need them. And you, before you get out of the house, this is something you can do to help yourself. Get yourself in front of your floor-to-ceiling mirror. How do you say the word mirror? Mirror. Get yourself in front of your floor-to-ceiling mirror <laughs> and look at your body. Look at your whole body. And when you're looking at your body, get this in your head, that everyone you see throughout the day, they're gonna be looking at you, they're looking at you, and this is what they're thinking. I just wanna get a piece of that ass. <laughs> and you know what? what? They can't have it, that's right. They can't have it, because they don't deserve it. No, they don't! They don't deserve it. Get that in your head. You gotta stop walking around thinking other people are the mystery. You're the mystery. When I say who's the mystery, you say, I'm the mystery. Who's the mystery? I'm the mystery! Yeah, you are! Get out there! Get out there, have a huge, uh, huge day. Okay. Hey, this might be a good time to take a break. Why don't we take a second and put our hands together? Go ahead and put your hands right on my hands. That's right. Great. Now, just say to yourself, I am forgiven. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Isn't that nice? Back to the show. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna ask, and you know, just tell me, it'll just be more fun. What are some kinks everybody has? <laughs> Choking. Boom, solid. Anyone else into choking or being choked? Oh, oh, right, oh. Look at that. What a crazy coincidence. Do you wanna choke or be choked? Do you wanna choke or be choked? Do you wanna choke or be choked? Choke, 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 and be choked. Choke and choke and choke. Do you wanna choke or be choked? You wanna be choked, that's helpful. It's like when two people wanna choke each other. It's like, uh, I love you. <laughs> this is a kink. Um, that I discovered I have. Before I even say this, first of all, I'm an extremely poor person, so. <laughs> ah, uh, I'm an extremely poor person, so if that's your kink. <laughs> but I went to a wedding where there was a billionaire there, and it was on a boat, and I went with my ex, and we were having a really good time. We were getting real drunk at this wedding and we were getting hot and heavy and a little frisky, making out on the roof of this boat and no one was there. And then I noticed out of the corner of my eye, just watching us was the billionaire. <laughs> and that's my shit. <laughs> that's what I need. I need a billionaire to watch. Oh, you can go to a sex store and buy your kink? Lame! Money can't buy a billionaire watching. So that's what I need. So what are some of your kinks? 
Some kinks. A yeah, kink. Put hooks in my back. Pull me to the ceiling. Seinfeld's on a TV in the back. I can't get to it. Someone orders food. It's wafting through the door. The hooks, the food, Jerry! What are some of your kinks? Straight amateur porn. Straight amateur porn, thank you. That's an excellent kink. That is a beautiful kink. Very unexplored kink, very controversial kink. Extremely controversial, illegal in 41 states. And most of the world. Uh, what other kinks do you guys have? Blindfold. Is anyone into being blindfolded? You, no, no one's into being blindfolded. People that are into being blindfolded, it's fun if one person is into it, but then if both people are into it, you're just sitting there, no one can see each other, it's dark, nobody has sex, it's really hot. Anybody into tickling? Tickling? Oh, we got a tickler? You like being tickled? I, I made a decision when I was much younger to not be ticklish anymore because I was so ticklish. It was like, I can't live like this. So I'm not ticklish anymore. But tickling's fun. It's like, tickle me, tickle me, tickle me, tickle me. Stop, 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 stop. My safe word's not stop. Bondage? Bondage. We got a bondage right here. You like to be tied up or you want someone to tie you up? Both. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. We're both tied up. We're in the dungeon. I can't get out of here. I've been screaming the safe word for weeks. You both die because orgasm after orgasm after orgasm. You don't want to go out like that. I did this joke uh, not that long ago, and someone thought I said cakes, and I'm saying kinks. But that person right away was like, carrot. And I was like, yes, vulnerable. And I asked her partner, I was like, did you know? And she was like, yeah, he loves it. Oh, he loves it. And I was like, crank, crank. <laughs> Any other kinks? Oh, no one is into like calling someone daddy? Oh, anti-daddy, a mommy crowd. Yeah, it's a mommy crowd. I love that, yeah. Anyone can call me mommy anytime, you know? I'm open to it. Call me mommy, I'll be your mommy. Um, sometimes I'm my own mother. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, would you have sex with your own clone? Who would have sex with their own clone? Boom, 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 boom. Now that you, maybe you didn't even know it was a thing, and now that you've understood that it's a concept and you've seen other people doing it, who would have sex with their own clone? Yes, most of the good ones. Most of the good ones, most of the good. Who knows you better than you? I mean, you might be ashamed of your kinks, but not in front of yourself. <laughs> let's see, let's make someone feel really, really good. What's your name? Yeah. Michael. What's your last name? Pence. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, an American treasure. Put your hands together for Michael Hens! Yes, yes! Does that feel good? Feels pretty good, feels pretty good. That could be you, but maybe not. My, my friend's parents met because she was a Catholic nun and he was a Catholic priest and they went on a church ski trip together and then they left the clergy because they fell in love and they couldn't be together under the shroud of Christ. <laughs> if you're a Catholic priest and you go on a ski trip and a nun snow bunny and an ob, you know, in the snow ski outfit habit <laughs> version. And a no snow bunny comes and is like, Shh, hey, that's the devil. That's the devil. And if you leave the church to be with her, you have failed the test. That's why we go on this ski trip. That's why we go on the ski trip in the first place. A new type of person has emerged from uh, the plague that I, uh, that we all know. Maybe you're that person, definitely a friend or family member. I'm calling them cognitive 
dissonance man. And it's, they're a very confusing person. There's someone who wears a Trump hat and a Black Lives Matter shirt. And you're just like, huh? Someone who's I'm extremely pro-vax and also super pro-wall. And you're just like, ah. <laughs> someone who's like, I have a polyamorous relationship based on boundaries, mutual understanding, communication, and love. And I storm the Capitol on January 6th. <laughs> and you're just like, huh? I like rolling coal and radical gifting. <laughs> And they're very confusing, and it's like, you know, my Uncle Gary's always trying to give me a hard time, am I right? <laughs> and he's always trying to tell me how to run the government, and it's like, your cell phone light has been on in your pocket for four hours. <laughs> and you know how America should work? Not today, Gary! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do an impression. Uh, I need a volunteer from the audience. Oh, thank you for volunteering yourself. <laughs> you just have to do this. You have to go and you just keep doing it. You just keep doing it. Okay, hold on. So this is my impression. This is my impression of the news. Gas prices! Gas prices! Okay, thank you. That's my impression of the news. Um, wow. I, <laughs> I have a really bad posture. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it, apparently. <laughs> and I, I have bad posture, but then I honestly think this. I have bad posture because I feel like if I'm walking around like this with good posture, people in the streets will see me and be like, who the hell does this guy think he is? <laughs> walking around like he owns the place. Let's murder his whole family. So I walk like this uh, for my family. And because I think it's honest. I think it's honest. We all need to be more honest. This is me. This is not me. This is, this is me, you know? And actually, true honesty would be all of us walking fully bent over, <laughs> eyes directly at the ground, arms dangling, knuckles brushing up against the concrete when you walk, and you apologize to everyone you pass. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's true uh, honesty. The people that are walking around like this, these are the people that say stuff like this. Oh, the pandemic was actually really good for me. It's like, oh. <laughs> Mm, okay. Mm. Well, that all checks out, actually. I am the kind of person who isn't very good with red flags. I see a lot of red flags, and I get, uh, I somehow think I'm an Olympic downhill skier. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> and I just, I just love a good red flag, you know? And I think names can be, uh, like, the first red flag can be the person's name. And I always end up dating people with ridiculous names, like uh, Poolot. Who's dated a Poolot? A couple of us. <laughs> My name is Gregory. I have no business dating a Poolot. I've dated a Yasmin, a Yasmin, an Asha, an Ashi. Ashi wasn't even cool of a name for her. She changed it to Tilo. <laughs> I'm Gregory. I should be dating a Pam. <laughs> a Pam is healthy. A Pam says stuff to you like, I made tacos. It's Taco Tuesday. A Pulat's like, I'm at the wrong airport. My shoe's broken, I don't have my wallet. Where are you? And you're so wrapped up in that Pulat life. But you're just like, Bulat, I'm sorry. I'm on my way. My life is your life. <laughs> Bulat, sometimes I think I'm you. Bulat, hello? <laughs> but a Pam says things like, I do the taxes. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> <laughs> we all need more Pams in our life, and we need to pay more attention to the, to the red flags. Even in friendships, uh, you know, these can be like friendship deal breakers. You guys have a friendship deal breaker? Like you won't be friends with someone if they... People who don't like animals, get out of here. What are you afraid of, love? Dog owners. Dog owners. <laughs> See, both ends of the spectrum. People who don't like animals, people who like animals. What else? Babies, yeah, babies. Boobies is what I say. Boobies. 
crypto stuff? Yeah, crypto stuff. Get your coins and your loot out of my life! <laughs> what else? Yes. Crypto babies? Yes. Crypto babies. I don't know what they are, but I can't deal. Chefs, ooh, these people and their whole system of hierarchy. Being a Sagittarius. Being a Sagittarius is out. Being a Taurus, in. <laughs> uh, what else? Blue eyes. Blue eyes. No way, baby. <laughs> You're out of here. What are you, half the population? Not for me. <laughs> what else? Vegans. Poo poo. Counterfeit bills. I will not be friends with counterfeiters. Not anymore! Been burned too many times. Anyone else? You won't be friends with someone if they... Puppy killers? Puppy killers, oh. absolutely. Controversial. <laughs> you know, you think you got a clear point of view, and then you, don't, you have to hear the other side. Any others? Flakes. Oh, I have dandruff. I can't be your friend. I get it. High standards. I get it. I get it. What else? My thing is people who are afraid of bees. It's that simple. People are afraid of bees. A bee wants pollen. Yeah, that's what it wants. A bee wants to protect the queen? Absolutely. A bee wants to die murdering me, a person it's never seen? No! That's not what a bee wants. A bee wants to just get drunk on pollen and fall asleep in a flower next to its friend. People freak out over a bee. People are like, a bee! <laughs> it just wants to protect the queen. So that's my, that's my big red flag. Um, this will feel really good, but to the things people like to hear the most in all cultures all over the world is your name and your rights. So we're going to make someone feel really good right now. What, what's your name? Francine. Francine? On the count of three, everybody's going to go, Francine, you're right. Ready? One, two, three. Francine, you're right! How'd that feel? Did that feel good? Yeah. There you go. You're welcome. Anyone can get one of those at any time. <laughs> Who here was uh, spanked as a child? Wow, wow, most of us, all right. The rest of us don't know how to be an adult. <laughs> Probably have messy rooms. Probably can't hold down a relationship. <laughs> Who here was spanked with an object? Yeah, nice, a stick. Who had to get a stick? Yeah, wow, a lot of sticks. Uh, a shoe. Wow, what other objects? Belts. How many belters? Wooden spooners. Wow, wow. Both. Remote control. What else? Pair of crutches. Yes, that's good for to get a child who who's a little tardy. What else? Uh, a boat chain. A toaster oven. Uh, who, th this is what happened to me. My parents, when, we, w when I was five, we moved into a new home, and they let us know, my brothers and I, who were five and six, know that there was a murder-suicide in the house before we moved in there. <laughs> and they told us, that room's haunted. And when we were in real big trouble, they locked us in that room overnight. <laughs> who else, who else, who else? A couple of people, who else got ghost-roomed? Who else got ghost-roomed? Ghost-roomed? Wow, yeah. Wow, ghost room. I went to school on a scholarship. Ghost room your kids. Ghost room your kids. Ghost room your kids. Um, you know, my parents knew what was up. They knew the right way to, to, to raise a child. <laughs> Someone died here, and then the other person killed themselves. This is our new home. You'll love it. We painted the wall blue because you're a boy. <laughs> Um, my, my parents, uh, are, they live in Florida, thank you, and they are both retired, but they are much poorer at this junction in their life than they thought they would be, and now my parents have become Uber drivers. My parents are Uber drivers, and they do it together. 
My mom drives while my dad just rides along. My dad is 82 years old. He picks you up asleep and he drops you off asleep. There is zero difference between a sleeping 82 year old man and an old dead man. He might wake, you, wake up for a second to give you some life advice like, yeah, sometimes you start dying faster than you're living. <laughs> and you know, my parents, uh, I, I love them. They're great people. They did a great job raising me and I'm not being sarcastic even though it looks and sounds like I am. <laughs> and um, they're, you know, invested in my career. They want me to do well out here in Hollywood. Does anyone have any how to make it in Hollywood tips? Sodomy. Uh, you want to get right to the top, both ways on sodomy. Wear deodorant. Wear deodorant, very important. People don't tell you that. You move here from uh, Texarkana, you don't know. You don't know the norms. What else? A lot of Botox. Do a lot of Botox. Get the whole thing done. A lot of people are just doing the crow's feet. I'm doing, I'm doing the mid riff. <laughs> what else? Sleep your way to the top. Nap up. <laughs> wow. Um, my dad has a lot of how to make it in Hollywood tips. Keep in mind, he's 82 and he lives in Florida. And, but th these are his how to make it in Hollywood tips. And they're really good. And you can use them too. Anyone can use these tips. Um, if you're, these are his. If you're not doing anything in Hollywood, Monday through Friday, during the day, borrow your friend's tennis gear, get to the courts. You wait around for someone who doesn't show up to a doubles tennis tournament. You jump in there and you win that tournament for them. People playing weekday tennis are probably movie producers. That's how you get into a movie. Oh, you want to make it in Hollywood? Borrow a friend's dog. Walk it around yeah. Beverly Hills all day, Monday through Friday. Your dog will make friends with another dog. People who have dogs in Beverly Hills are movie producers. That's how you get into a movie. Oh, you want to make it in Hollywood? Yes, Papa. Join the army. What are movies about? War. Who's in the war? People in the army. <laughs> Let's do a quick meditation for money. Close your eyes and just repeat after me. I have money now. I have money now. I have money now. I have money now. Feel how happy you are with all the money you have. I have money now. I have money now. I have money. I have money now. Your pockets are full of cash. I have money now. I have money Someone just Venmoed you money. I have money now. I have money now. Bing. I have money now. Oh, you just got a notification. Bing. Your savings account's full. I have money now. You're gonna have to open another one. You're gonna have to open. I have money now. Bing. I have money now. Someone just Venmoed you money. Your pockets are full of cash. I have money now. Bing. I have money now. What does everybody think the number one problem in America is right now? Sodomy. It's up there. That's up there. It's definitely up there. Guns. Guns and sodomy. Republicans. Guns. Sodomy. I'm seeing a theme. Racism. Racism. Uh, what else? Climate deniers. Climate deniers. These are huge problems, but you're all absolutely wrong. The number one problem in America is People not texting people back. <laughs> Number one issue. Who right now is waiting for a text back? That's her. Oh, we have a couple people. Wow, everyone else here is the asshole not texting back? <laughs> text these people back. Just the megalomaniacal energy it takes. When someone gets a text, I was like, oh, it was really fun last night. I, I would love to do it again. Um, kissy face. And then that person gets it, and they're just like, <laughs> Text these people back. Don't hold on to that energy. Send something. I know, maybe you're nervous. Send a pumpkin. Send a pumpkin. Send anything. It's fine. Texting people back. That's the number one issue. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of other issues, like the ones you name, like maybe... You know, maybe climate change or something. I'm actually working on 
a climate change commercial. It's geared for a right-wing audience. It's for climate change. A lot of market research has gone into the copy, and um, it's again, it's for Republicans to get on board with climate change. So this is this is how the commercial goes. Pollution kills white baby boys. <laughs> Pollution kills white blue-eyed baby Christian boys. I think it's gonna be major. I think it's gonna have a huge, huge impact. Uh, <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm getting older. Thank you, we're all getting older. Um, soon I'll be dead. <laughs> soon you'll be dead, soon anyone who knew us will be dead, soon people who knew those people will be dead, and then no one who will ever live will have known anyone who ever knew or even heard of you. That's the part of my show I've been calling. <laughs> now, there's a couple ways I know I'm getting older. One is this has been happening to me. I just now make just little involuntary noises when I do almost anything. And they're kind of sexual sometimes, but they just come out of me. I, I bent down in a public space to re-Velcro my shoes like an adult. And, it, and then I bent over and just out of me came, Ugh. And I was so ashamed. I was so ashamed. I was so ashamed. I got a car and I closed the uh, car door with my hip when I was leaving and I just went, oh yeah, oh yeah. I got into an Uber and I sat down and I just went, pound me hard. Oh my God, I'm so sorry I'm getting older. I'm so sorry I'm getting older. It's uh, involuntary, so it's probably happening to you. Oh, you're 25? Oh, that's crazy. Well, when you get, oh, you, you push the don't talk button? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I started making weird sounds. I never thought I'd be the kind of guy who goes, oh, yeah, when he pees. <laughs> but I've become my own mother. I am my own mother. Wait, 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 wait. I am my own mother. The other way I getting, I know, other way I know I'm getting older. <laughs> is I used to audition for things out here that were like, um, little hips, we need a little hipster boy. We need a perfect little hipster. <laughs> Great cheekbones hipster boy. Then the other, then it became hipster boyfriend. Then it became, we need hipster dad. <laughs> then it became, we need old dead hipster body in the river. <laughs> oh, get him! His face, it's perfect. It looks like he's been there for six months. We're gonna change someone's life. Who here tonight is having a hard year, a hard week, a hard month, a hard day? Right here? Yeah, please come up here. Please come up, round of applause. Yeah, sit down, please sit down. Uh, what's your first and last name? Jane Harrison. Everybody now needs to just link up. We're gonna touch shoulders, everybody touch each other's shoulders. Gonna, and if you're behind, you need to link up with the person in front of you. Everybody link, everybody link in the back row. And then uh, if you, and, and then I need someone to touch, yeah, you touch me with your foot. And if you could touch me with your foot, this is great. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're all gonna say, I love you, Jane Harrison, 10 times, loudly, rapidly, <laughs> eye contact, full of meaning, on the count of three. I love you, Jane Harrison, one. Two, three. I love you, Jane Harrison. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jane Harrison. Did that feel good? That felt really good. Are you crying? Are you crying? You're crying a little bit. Yes. Yes, she's crying. I made her cry. We did it. Um, oh, you never hear people say you have a young soul. I've been, I've been saying it a lot, especially when I run into real idiots. <laughs> they say something you don't like, and then you know what? You can be nice and be like, wow, you have such a young soul. <laughs> uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you for your healing energy. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, American Treasure, Greg Barris.